I was going to read the poem about it, but since the night is about transitions, I wanted to uh, read something sort of transitory. Um, so I haven't released the chapbook in a year or three, so um, I was going through some of my old stuff, like, oh, what should I put into a chapbook? And when I was reading over it, it was like, this looks kind of like a weird poem. So I'm going to read this part first, and then I'm going to close out with uh, one that's a little better. So this doesn't make in all of the sense, that's just the way it happens. Legal pad. Every man should write a novel. Black five star. The day begins with a whimper. As a male, my impotence. A limb falls off. Did you hear? I wonder if my words, the old man, the morning fog, the sky looks, Save it. Wasp paper tomes, sentinels. When people cry, there are certain people, carpe diem OCD. I'm a babysitter. Shoes. Dementia, dementia. Alright, okay, right, I'll skip the rest of them. I was mostly just to feel out if it was, if it was interesting to anyone else but me. <laughs> You were you were in what? <laughs> you were invoked. 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 All right. Fine. Right, I'll do this one. All right. Gray five star. Subject: Chapbook submission. I would. Plastic is some rich government official, the divining bowl. If you would kill, it's funny how a grazing base I appreciate. Gay? Fine by me. If you empty me, replace me, the boy I used to be. Names red, I shake, ultimate warrior, the smell. The anticipation consumes me before sugar ever hits my lips. I know well the smell of baked goods, the lashing of my tongue by granulated goodness, the pure caning of my taste buds by the oncoming sweetness. All my life I've known when something was going to be too sweet, but like a slave I was chained to its consumption. No. Not a slave. I had a choice. I made the choice. I took in every bite with relish or ketchup in disgust, <laughs> but I ate it all. I ate too much all the time. I made the choice. As a child, maybe I didn't know any better. My brother gorged himself, so I thought I could too, and I did. I fell asleep after big meals like the men in my family. I thought that was normal. There was so much less information back then to begin with, and as a child I had the least of it, and as a child I had the most trust for people who didn't know what was best for me, but tried, at least in some cases. I've been getting high on fructose for as long as I can remember, and my dealers were my family. It's true, you shouldn't get high on your own supply. The sugar crosses my lips, tongue, down my throat, hits my stomach. I've always had a stomach that can stand anything. Hot food, mass amounts, give me anything except lima beans, weirdly enough. No discomfort, no vomiting. Combine a cast iron stomach with a revulsion towards wasting food, and I've got a recipe for fat aster. I've always been fat, other than a few extra layers and twice the density I looked like I did when I wrestled 112 pounds in high school. I've had a dad bod since before the term was in vogue, long enough before I was old enough to be a dad. The sugar collects in my body. My pancreas fights for its life inside me, producing or possibly, probably, overburdening itself. 
A sponge squeezed and re-squeezed until there is no liquid left, then squeezed again until it is a dry husk of an organ. At least that's the progression. My kidneys don't know how to process the urea and have become damaged, spewing protein like an oil pipeline. My body is a disaster area, a terrorist aftermath, and my life is the resistance to it. Thank you. Thank you, Azrael. So what Azrael was reminding me up here on stage was to make sure to mention that at this point we are turning off the cameras, we are turning off Facebook Live, and if you want to share a, a piece or two without the pressure of, oh no, who else is watching, um, because it's just all of us who are right here, then this is your time. Um, so Ed put himself on here.